Hey, Todd Toback here, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the second step in our sales process on meeting with a motivated seller. Now, this is the third video in a multi-part series, again, on closing a deal with a motivated seller, getting that contract, and there's a scientific step-by-step -step process that we use that if you use, you close more deals, bigger deals, more profitable deals on less of a marketing budget. Now today we're really gonna focus on that uh, third step, and that is the pain step, the primer to getting the seller to, sell, uh, to sign that contract today. Very, very, very important that you compress timelines, that you create urgency and momentum with your sellers, and so I'm gonna talk about that um, in this video in particular. Now, my name is Todd Toback, if you don't know me, and I've wholesaled uh, more than 1,000 houses. 95% of those were locked up by somebody on my team using this very system that I'm talking about in this video series, right? At first, I, it was all in my head, and um, I remember when I first hired somebody, I tried to you know, teach them and it wasn't really working, and then I systemized it and I created step-by-step, -step. and once I was able to do that, uh, my acquisition specialist, um, their results went through the roof. So if you're a, a solopreneur, right, or if you are building a team, hopefully, right, then then you've got to use uh, these techniques that I'm talking about. Now, if you have not been to my website, make sure you head on over to nextlevelwholesaling.com. I've created an assessment for you. If you're looking to break out of hustler mode and you want to stop being a one-man show and you want to start to build a team with more consistency and own an asset that's going to throw off cash month after month after month, okay, uh, take the assessment. It takes you two minutes. It's at nextlevelwholesaling.com, nextlevelwholesaling.com. Take the assessment. Um, it's really going to open your eyes and give you that next step that you need to take to start to break free uh, from your business and um, really put you in a position where you can work on it, okay, and not in it. All right, so let's talk about the the uh, third step in the sales process, right? Or um, I'm sorry, the uh, this is the second step in the sales process, and that is the pain step, right? Number one is rapport, and we talked about the three levels in the last video. The second is the pain step, and the pain step is really, really important because it primes your seller um, to be able to do business today. And there's two steps to this. The first step of pain is really reminding them of why they're selling the property to you. And it's all emotional. And I'm going to get into the details about that. The second part of this is, um, is, uh, basically eliminating every single option, um, from, from their mind except for doing business with you. Now, it's really important that you don't eliminate every option, but that they emotionally eliminate the option. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. All right. By the way, a lot of these techniques that I talk about, these sales te techniques, uh, you can find more about them by nolimitsalesystem.com, nolimitsalesystem.com. So if you want to know more about our No Limit Selling System, I've created a course and training program right about this stuff. So you can just go there and uh, buy the whole course and, and Give it to your team or yourself, and you're going to start crushing it. Okay, so um, the pain. All right. So the first thing that you do when you get to a seller's house, hopefully you've done some pre-qualifying. They want to sell. They've got some kind of motivation. So what I'd like you to do is, once you're there, you want to go around and have the, sh the seller take you around the perimeter of the property and the interior, and go around every everything in painstaking detail, from the gutters to the door to the garage, the termite damage to the roof, right? Everything you have. You want to have a pad with you, yellow pad. Um, and you want to be taking notes the entire time, right? So every time you see any kind of defect, put your hand over it, right? Make a funny face. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now, very important. Don't argue. Don't say anything. Just make a funny face and make a sound. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Right? I'm not kidding. <laughs> Do that. Now, why don't you say anything? Well, that's confrontational. So if you, as soon as you say to the seller, hey, what's this? Or this roof needs work. Or this door is creaky. They're going to start arguing with you. They're going to go the opposite. It's just human nature. But if you just make a noise and you write something down, their blood pressure, their anxiety, their worry about the property, their expectations um, are going to uh, be adjusted. Okay, um, they're going to want to get rid of the property more, and what they want is going to um, hopefully go lower. All right, so you're prepping them. Do the same thing on the inside. Open up the cabinets. You see a little mold. See some paint chipped. See a little crack in the wall. See a little foundation issue. Whatever that is, take your time in painstaking detail. Put your hand over it. Touch it. Right. Smell it. Then write in your pad. Okay. Write in your pad. Blah blah blah. Do not write numbers next to any of this. If you start um, writing numbers. 
the seller then is going to get into a rationalization mode and having you try to back at your profit. Don't do that. Just take notes. Okay. Very, very important. So that's the first step. Now, the second step is, again, you've built pain, you've built anxiety, you've built, uh, they're going to be brought back to reality, what maybe the property is worth. Um, but now is the second step, and that is uh, the pain, emotional pain that's going on in the property. So what we like to do is have the sell, eliminate every seller, uh, every other uh, solution in the seller's mind, all right? And now here you don't want to hold back. A lot of people don't want to give the sellers other solutions because they, they're afraid the seller might say, hey, that's a great idea. I'm going to do that instead of doing business with you. Well, I can tell you that it's almost impossible to kill a motivated seller, right? So if they were going to do that, well, at least you know the truth and you save yourself some time. So let me give you an example. So one of the things that we train our acquisition specialists to do when they're meeting with a motivated seller is say, hey, why don't you just fix up the property a little bit and maybe put it on the market? Like, have you ever thought about that? Hmm? And they're going to say one of two things. They might say, hey, um, you know, I've been thinking about it, right? Well, if, if they do tell you that, now you know what you're up against. Or they may say, you know what, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I don't have the patience, I don't have the desire, and I just want to set, move this thing now. So as you start giving these other options, it starts flushing out motivation either way. So you're going to get to the truth, and you're going to have a really, really great understanding what the seller's motivation is, all right? The second thing is, hey, have you thought about holding on to this thing as a rental property, right? And again, they're going to say, I hate tenants. I'm not dealing with my nephew, sister, brother, uncle, bad tenant, whatever it is, and let them verbalize it. Now, at this point, after you go the third or fourth option, right, they'll say, hey, you know, have you thought about maybe, you know, just letting your son-in-law live here? I mean, I'm sure eventually he'll catch up on the rent, right? I mean, I know he's three months behind, but it's your nephew. I mean, he's going to pay you eventually, isn't he? Right? Notice I go the opposite. I don't say he's never going to pay you, even though I know that, right? But you want to go the opposite direction. And so we want him, her to say, you know what? No, this guy's never going to pay me. He's a loser. I'm tired of this. I want to sell this thing right now. There is no way he's going to be sitting in this property. And so it's very, very, very important that you eliminate all the options. So by the time you're done, the seller is actually mentally exhausted of talking about the property. You've poured salt in the wound, right? You've, you've, you've dug the spoon inside their hearts regarding the property. And now they are primed, right? They are primed. Now, then, and only then, once they are primed, they've eliminated all the options. You're the guy that they want to talk to. Then we're going to start talking about price, which is now the next step, the what if in my next video. By the way, if you again, if you want to know more about these techniques, go to nolimitsalesystem.com, nolimitsalesystem.com, and I show this in detail. This is how I train my acquisition specialist with this very system that you'll find at nolimitsalesystem.com. All right, so um, last part about this. A lot of things that people are scared of is saying, hey, um, have you talked to any other investors? Who else are you talking to? And people don't ask that question because they're scared of the answer. So say, if they say, you're the only guy I'm talking to, great. Now you know maybe you can go a little bit deeper. If they say, I've got four or five investors coming over today, well, now you also know that. But you may not be able to be as aggressive in price. Don't be scared to ask the question. Don't be scared to ask the question. Don't be scared of the truth. Be a truth seeker. Be a truth teller. And that's going to put you in a very, very, very powerful position. Okay, now this is, again, it's, it's, this is step by step. It's a science. If you do this, you're going to do bigger deals. You're going to do better deals. You're going to convert more. You're going to have more fun. Um, your team is going to be better. Hopefully, you're building that team. And I promise you, okay, practice this stuff. It's ninja, all right? Um, lastly, uh, make sure you head on to nextlevelwholesaling.com if you want to learn how to build and scale. Um, you're going to uh, be able to download that assessment. It's going to really tell you where you're at, nextlevelwholesaling.com. Download that. And look out for the next video. It's going to be actually on negotiating the price, something that we call the what if step. What if step. Very, very important. A little teaser. Uh, we do this uh, completely opposite the way that everybody else does. So look out for that. And let me know what you think in the comments below if you've got an idea of a future video. Love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button on YouTube and, uh, excuse me, that uh, bell notification when you're done so that you can get alerted from all our new videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.